Games can be a lot of fun, can't they? There's good sportsmanship. You know what that means? Five years ago, I began training in martial arts after having been a dancer for decades. What started out as a sideline interest spiraled rapidly into an obsession. Sparring, in particular, captured my imagination. I was fascinated by the way this physical, aggressive, competitive practice could yield such an extraordinary sense of community. My explanation is that sparring allows us to manage competing positions with respect. If I'm trying to punch you, and you're trying to kick me in the head, we disagree on a pretty basic level. Good sportsmanship. But we agree as to the terms of our interaction. Play fair. At the end, we shake hands, and most of the time, we actually mean it. This is an interesting metaphor for social reality. Political theorist Chantal Mouffe says that pluralistic democracy hinges not on unity, but on dissent. She maintains that we can practice respect through disagreement. Take the results well, no matter whether you win or lose. Currently, in the United States, we have a disagreement problem. We find it hard to debate political positions without denigrating people. We have come to see opposition as inherently invalid. If the political theorists are right, this disrespect for disagreement does not bode well for democracy. It would be naive to suggest that we could simply play fight our way to a more just world. But it is equally naive to assume that our actions outside the realm of politics have no effect on the political sphere. Physical play allows us to manage competing positions with respect. Whether we take that opportunity and whether we learn from it is up to us.